Lone Star Drills LS400T Plus is the largest in the Lone Star line, boasting a 400-foot drilling depth. This robust, reliable drill is ideal for water well drilling applications. In this video, we will walk through the step-by-step -step setup and operation. Begin by selecting a level site that is suitable for safe operation. Once a site is selected, place pads with a large surface area below the outriggers. This will help reduce settling during drilling. Level and stabilize the rig. Lower the three outriggers, adjust jacks as needed, and check with the bubble level for accuracy. Start the engine. Next, raise the mast. Start by increasing the idle. Push in the mast breakout knob, then use the mast lever to slowly raise the mast into position. Ensure hydraulic hoses are clear from pinching or snagging. When the mast reaches its full upright position, engage the L-shaped wedge locks on each side. Check and level the machine. Next, extend the mast tower. Using the winch lever, lower the winch cable approximately 10 feet, maintaining tension as the cable slackens. Rotate the L-shaped tower lift supports 90 degrees outward on both sides of the rotary drill head. Raise the rotary drill head assembly to extend the mast tower until the base clears the tower lock arms. Use a three-quarter inch wrench to turn the lower rods, which engage the tower lock arms, pivoting them outward from the mast so they can support the tower. Lower the rotary drill head. The mast tower base will rest on the tower lock arms as the head lowers. Attach the pipe handler to the winch cable and then to the drill pipe. Raise the drill head along with the winch, pipe handler, and attach pipe. Screw the drill pipe onto the swivel stem of the drill head. After the drill pipe is securely threaded into position, lower the pipe handler down and detach. Lower the drill head and attach pipe through the slip jaws and connect the drill bit. You are ready to drill the first section. Reattach the pipe handler and raise it to the top of the pipe. This will support the pipe's weight after breakout. Brace the ends of the drill pipe by manipulating the drill head breakout sleeve and lower slip jaws. Use the drill head control to begin unthreading the drill pipe. The winch can now be used to lower the pipe. Raise the drill head to support the mast tower. Use a three-quarter inch wrench to turn the lower rods, which engage the tower lock arms, pivoting them inward from the mast so they no longer support the tower. The mast tower is now fully supported by the drill head's tower lift supports. Begin lowering the drill head to lower the tower. Note that the mast tower may stick in place as the drill head lowers. Periodically pulling on the winch cable will reseat the tower on the drill head as it lowers. Continue lowering the drill head as the mast tower becomes fully seated back into the mast. With the drill head fully lowered, disengage and secure the drill head's tower lift supports. With the pipe handler removed, attach the winch cable to the drill head and retract the winch until the cable is taut. Disengage the L-shaped wedge locks and ensure the mast cradle is clear before lowering the mast. Push in the mast breakout knob to engage the mast circuit and begin lowering the mast. Once the mast is fully lowered, turn off the engine.
retract and secure the rear outriggers. Carefully secure equipment and tools before attaching to the truck for transportation. Secure the front outrigger once the rig is hitched. For additional information, including written instructions, optional sampling tools, and product details, visit LoneStarDrills.com.